citations are constantly flowing in the conversation of scholarship. Each time a new paper is published in a journal, it creates new references that point to other papers in other journals. The JCR takes that constant stream of journal-to-journal -journal citations from Web of Science and freezes it for a calendar year. We can examine the data and ask questions about exactly what material is being cited. The citations a journal is giving or receiving occur within a calendar year, but the objects being cited may have been published in a previous year. What depth of literature was cited in a calendar year? Two descriptive metrics in the journal citation reports help us understand this for each individual journal for each year, the cited half-life and citing half-life. A half-life in the context of the JCR is the median age of cited objects. Those can be citations made to items within a journal or citations made from a journal to others. JCR shows you the details of this inbound and outbound citation traffic in each profile page. I'm looking at the journal Genes and Development. Scroll down the page to see the cited and citing journal data. Genes and Development was a cited journal in 2020. It received citations to its own objects, articles that were published in previous years. I can see which journals made those citations by clicking the source link for each cited year. Remember, all of this citation activity happened in 2020. I can also look at Genes and Development as a citing journal. It gave citations away in 2020 to objects published in these years. So what do the cited and citing half-life numbers actually mean? From a journal's profile page in JCR, view the cited and citing half-life data here, reflected as a number of years. If a journal's cited half-life is 11.6, then half the journal's inbound citations were to items published more than 11.6 years ago, and half were published less than 11.6 years ago. In the 2020 JCR year, this means the median publication year of cited items is 2008. The citing half-life is the same principle but for outbound citations from the journal to others. What depth of literature is this journal giving citations away to? Cited half-life can provide a sense of the longevity of the material in a journal. Is older material still being cited? This can vary by field. Some fields change and evolve more quickly than others. View a complete category to see these metrics in context. Librarians can use this information to inform their collection decisions. How much of each journal are researchers using and should be accessible in the collection? Researchers can use both the cited and citing half-life data to understand the depth of important literature in their field or understand if a journal is citing recent or older material. Use cited and citing half-life data to better understand your research discipline and make more informed collection and publication decisions.